Hey, what is going on, beautiful people? And today we're gonna to be talking about TF2's newly emerging currency, why it is needed, and what it means to be a currency. But first, we must look at what makes a currency, and more importantly, what makes a viable currency. To be a viable currency, we must check off three boxes. The price cannot be manipulated easily, it has a solid base value, and it's easily available, but not to the point of excess quantities Basically, there cannot be so much of it that it devalues the currency. The reason a new currency is needed in TF2 is because tf 2 secondary currency, refined metal, is becoming worthless due to a staggering number of refined metal in existence and a broken crafting system both driving down prices. Refined metal no longer checks our three viable currency boxes as although the price cannot be manipulated and it's kept its same base value, that being the crafting recipe it's always had, having such a large quantity and the items around it are no longer worth what they were, it has fallen into the graveyard of useless currencies. With no intervention from Valve, refined metal will continue to lose value over time and gain quantity, becoming virtually worthless. Like the Manco series crates we see sitting on the Steam community market and picking up dust in player inventories. But there is hope. There is a new viable currency to bridge that ever-growing divide between keys and rep. The simple answer is Tour of Duty tickets, or MVM tickets, as I like to call them. It checks off all three of our viable currency boxes, and better yet, it will never run into the same problems we have seen with refined metal. Which is our goal here? A viable currency that will sadly not replace refined metal due to its intricate complexities and relationships to other items, but make it so that trading can be more realistically achieved at all levels of trading. An example of this is really quite simple. Say that one Manco key is equivalent to a $100 bill, and say that one refined metal is equivalent to pennies, nickels, dimes, quarter, and a $1 bill. You go to the store and you want to purchase something for $20. You must either break up your $100 bill into $81 bills or carry around $21 bills to buy that item. Whereas one tour of duty ticket equivalent to 10, 20, $50 bills allows stronger purchasing power and making transactions much easier and effective. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of Tour of Duty tickets and more info on them, we must look at what makes a currency, well, at least in TF2. It must be used to price other items, and the community has to accept it as means of payment on the same level. It's not the same with other items where you can bargain for the price of them and certain payment methods. All TF2 currencies, that being refined metal and keys, all have a preset determined value that everyone accepts and acknowledges. Not to mention, they must all cover our three boxes for a viable currency all at the same time. Looking at the more technical side of Tour Duty tickets, they are just like Manco keys in the respect that they are both purchased off the Manco store for a base price. Keys are 249, USD will say 250 to keep it simple, and Tour of Duty tickets are bought at 99 cents or $1 to keep it simple. Because of this, Tour of Duty tickets will retain their inherent base value of that $1. The same thing happens with keys. This is how keys have retained their price over so many years, and that is why you will never see a key being sold for over $2.50. The same applies to Tour of Duty tickets. You will never, or should never see one being sold for over one dollar. Therefore, the price of Tour of Duty tickets, just like keys, cannot be manipulated easily. Now, I realize Tour of Duty tickets can be unboxed, but due to them being used in MVM and with the base value, it really has no effect on the value. When we look at these graphs, we can see that Tour of Duty tickets behave just like keys. When there's a lot added into the market, the price dips down a bit and then it readjusts. And then we can see indirect and direct correlations of price versus quantity. 
But the same thing that's going on with keys is going on tour duty tickets. We're at the highest number of keys we've almost ever been at, and keys are at the highest price they've ever been at. Now, you know, they're readjusting themselves, but the same thing with tour duty tickets. We're at the highest number of tour duty tickets we've ever been at, but tour duty tickets are at the highest price they've ever been at. And even with the increased quantity due to Smith Smiths and all the unboxings and all the new tour duty tickets introduced into the market, it has not impeded or brought down the price of tour duty tickets. And you'll see in a couple months that the price graph will readjust like it always does because it has that base value and because it always resets to its normal value. Keep in mind, these are refined metal prices and the ref price during this time did change to three cents. So before it was four cents and now it's three cents. So we have to keep that in mind that that is also a factor as well. Now, one oddity I wanted to mention when researching for this video, more specifically looking at the ratios between keys and tour of duty tickets is that when looking at Manco store prices for tour of duty tickets, Tour of Duty tickets and keys have a perfect ratio of 2.5 Tour of Duty tickets to purchase a key. But if we look at the current refined metal price for Tour of Duty tickets, that being about 29 ref and keys being about 60 ref, the ratio changes to two Tour of Duty tickets per key, which is quite interesting. I'm not quite sure why this is occurring, but it just is. I want to mention that these ratios are subject to change and refined metal price because the ever-changing price in keys and refined metal and the ever-changing price of tour of duty tickets and refined metals will change these ratios and just things that happen in the market with supply and demand and whatnot. With all that said, I want to conclude with I do truly believe that tour of duty tickets will become one of TF2's main currency as there is a need and a demand for it. It is the perfect item that can become a new currency in TF2, but with all things TF2 economy, some move very fast and some move very slow. And this is a very slow one. Since the TF2 trading community will take time to adopt tour duty tickets as a main currency and start pricing and trading items in them, I hope this video provided the necessary points, evidence, and info to bring to light the case for tour duty tickets to be a new currency in TF2. Nonetheless, tell me what you guys think of the video. Tell me what you guys think of tour duty tickets. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. Take care. Bye-bye.